Okay. All right. Well, welcome to, I don't know what number we're on. I always have to go back and look at the last one. Power Hour. Um, today is Wednesday. Um, and so we'll just start with our typical A to Z commenting. Um, so for those of you that, you know, know how to do it, go ahead and start doing it. And I will um, go on here for the new people that may be watching the recording. John, look at you all. Tan, brother. You look tan today. Um, so I'll, I'll go on here um, for those that we don't catch the recording that may be newer. So what we're going to do, ideally, you want to come to these power hours with your computer open with the Zoom app. That's that's how we're going to with Zoom on your computer. And then we're going to work on our phone. Um, the main reason we do that is because when we do A to Z commenting, it works best and it puts it in alphabetic order. So in order for us to do the A to Z commenting, we must use our phone. Otherwise it's not in alphabetical order on our computer. Actually, you can use an, you can use an iPad too. Um, oh, looky, uh oh, I better straighten up. Um, <laughs> we've got matching shirts on. So, um, but you can A to do A to Z commenting on an iPad as well, as long as you do it through the app. Um, so, so, so for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, right now we're doing A to Z comedy, Nicole. Okay. You can leave yourself on mute there. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so we're we're going to go through A to Z comedy, Karen. So we're going to do the Facebook app. We're going to open it up. And then once that's open, we're going to touch on your profile picture there and that takes you to your wall which looks like that we're doing a to z commenting for those of you just popped on um and i'm showing new people how to do this those that want to catch your that catch a recording so you, it takes you to your wall which is going to have your before and after picture your your uh, cover photo and you know kind of what you're about i guess scroll down to where it says see your friends there and you want to see all friends so we're going to click on see all friends and right there you'll see that it puts it in alphabetical order and that's where we're going to so as we begin to do this as you like i know right now i'm in my r so i'm not going to make you wait on me to get there um but you'll start where you left off so as tonight when you leave off you'll want to take a screenshot or put it in your notes somewhere I would encourage you, I mean, maybe your memory is spot on. Mine is not. Um, my memory is not spot on. So when you're done, either put it in your notes or take a screenshot. And that way um, you'll remember where you're at. But so what we're gonna do, is say, say I left off with Amy Coop right there, right there. So I would touch hers and right there's so you see the dog in the picture. So when we pro when we A to Z comment, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do this very, very quickly. We're trying to touch as many lives and exchange as much energy as possible with the with the people as we're going through. And so we leave the the cover photo, which is the one in the back, and then the profile picture, which is usually the one in the circle. We use the we we leave those for the A to Z commenting. So I just wanna make sure that I'm clear on that. That's all we're gonna do. So on this one, I would touch that. And I would say, make sure it's something, oh, that's cool. So on this one, I, lo I love the background. It's a pretty neat picture. So I'm just gonna write cool background. Usually I'm like, great pick, love it. Something like that. The cookies. I'm not taking, I'm not taking any of them. So once I comment, then when I'm done, I hit, see the little thumbs up? I'm gonna hit that. And that lets me know, and then that, that lets me know that I've already commented on that picture. So when I come back, when I work through my A to Z commenting, if I come to Amy again and I, I touch her profile picture and I see that blue thumb, that lets me know I've already commented on that picture. Then I would, the next time through, if she hasn't changed it, I would 
I would comment on the dog. Well, look, I've already commented on the dog because I see it's a blue light. So that tells me I already commented. So, so that's what we do with A to Z commenting. So we're just working through um, and touching as many lives, exchanging as much energy as we can with each of these people as we're moving through. Um, And I will say this, so here, here's why as a health coach, branding yourself is important. Let me find a good example here. So I'm gonna comment on her picture. I just hit, I just hit the little like button, so I just did that. So I'm gonna say something like, Pretty picture. I'll just say pretty. Pretty. Try not to. It's a, we, 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 you women have it easy. We we always got to be mindful as guys of not sound like creeps. So I hit pretty. Um, but if you'll see, what shows up there is my before and after because that's my profile picture. So people are going to see that. Anyone that commented, so she had 16 comments on this. 115 likes. So all those people are going to see that my, my comment. All right. And undoubtedly one of them or two of them probably is going to like, okay, what's this guy about? Like he's got to see that before and after. So they're going to click on it and automatically it takes me to that it takes them here and they're going to see that. And so they're going to start scrolling a little bit and they're going to see my before and afters, they're going to see some tag posts, some recipes. But if we don't brand ourselves, nobody's going to know what, like what, we, what we're about. They're just going to think we're a bunch of shares or we're all political or we're, we're blah. I, they're going to think what they think. So the branding is important. If we're going to do the A to Z commenting, I feel like it's very important to do the branding because otherwise, when you comment and people come to your wall because they see your profile picture, they're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna know what you're about. They're not gonna know what are the five things you're known for. I'm gonna work a little bit right now. So if anybody has any questions or at some something that they feel would um, bring value to what we're doing, please feel free to jump off mute and, and share. Hey, Ron. Yeah. I just wanted to add the things we talked about before, but if if you've already commented on the profile picture or the background, the cover picture. Yeah. Or there's nothing there that um, really to comment on. And you go down to photos to pick. If you choose a group, look at the tags, ones that have lots of tags, comment on those because then other people will see that. I just I just clicked on one. There are like thirty people tagged in it, so that's like a bonus. 
Right. And all those people are going to see, yeah, at least be notified of your comment yeah. in that on that particular picture. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're doing that, and that's kind of what we're going for. Um, if we've already commented on their on their profile picture and their uh, cover photo. Yes. Well, this particular lady didn't have a background and her front picture was just an object of some sort. You couldn't even tell what it was. So I moved on. <laughs> and some of, I mean, some of those, I don't know, this is a good opportunity to also, in my opinion, as we're going through to clean some of this stuff up. If, if you got somebody that's, I don't know, there's different schools of thought. Again, my opinion doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It's just my opinion. But if you have somebody that, I don't know, doesn't ever post or they just share everything or they don't appear to be very active or they have 132 friends and the last time they posted anything was, you know, and they don't, they, they just don't appear active. I, unless they're like your legit, your friend or your family member, I would not necessarily, I would consider just unfriending them if it's just a, it's just a matter of business per se, or, if, you know, if you don't think that you, you would work with them, I would, you know, it may be time to clean that one up because, you know, we're continually adding friends. Um, and sometimes people just are there. I know when I first started doing it this way, when I first started as a health coach, I was probably being less than, I was just adding people. Add, 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 add. I wasn't being very um, selective. And as I scroll, as I, as I work through some of my A to Z now, I, 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 there's evidence of that. And I'm like, oh, dude, what was I thinking? You know, as, as Scott likes to say, not today, Isis, not today. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I see that before. That was funny when Scott said it, though. So, so, so we, even as guys, we get these pictures that are, um, if they were, if they were guys, they'd be called creepers, but they're women. So they're, they're mostly usually half naked. So you, you can tell, you know, that's, that's a delete for me. I'll let them follow me, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, I have a lot of friends named Linda. Linda, Linda. Listen, Linda. What was that from? Anybody know? Was that something on the interweb? Yeah, the little boy was telling his aunt Linda. Lisa his mom or his aunt? Was it his, his mom, wasn't it? <laughs> I think it was his mom. Lisa, I think it was his mom. Linda. Like, listen, Linda. <laughs> Linda, Linda, Linda. Listen, Linda, Linda. I just <laughs> never forget that. I, that's funny, man. Accent. He's like that big. Listen, <laughs> yeah, and he's, he, yeah, he looks like he should be like a baby, but he sounds like he's five years old. Mm -hmm. I remember that. That's funny. So I got a question. Yes, ma'am. So I just cr ran across someone that um, it says, I help women lose weight, gain energy, and take control of their life again. Click above to apply. And I mean, she's some type of a fitness coach or whatever. Do you think I should delete her? Do you know her? No. I mean, do you have a lot? I guess I don't know. I probably would, but that doesn't mean it's right. I mean, you just got what you get. What kind of feel do you get? You know, trust trust your gut. Do you feel like you're like maybe I should? And then go ahead and delete her. I mean, she's got a picture of herself in her bra and underwear, so that's a little negative for me. A little risque, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. I would. I would if that's what you. I mean, whatever. It's just funny because you think, how did I become friends with that person? Right. So they might have got in under the. They might have get out under your radar, Kathy. Sometimes they get yeah. under our radar. Yeah. I got a couple now that are sitting in my that I'm not quite sure about that are sitting in my, they've sent the friend request. I have not confirmed it, nor I can neither confirm nor deny. Like I haven't accepted or deleted it yet because I'm not sure. I still haven't decided probably like four yeah. of them. Right now. So I, I know what you mean. Sometimes they, you're not sure. Well, I found a lot of a massive amount of health coaches too. I was like, Oh, how do I get to be friends with this person? And then follow it a little more like I look at their Facebook page and they're uh -huh. like they're nowhere 
anywhere connected to any of us, but they're a health not like an, even an Eccles org or nothing like that. No, they're not an Eccles org, but they're an opt to be a coach. And I'm like, well, how did I get to be friends with them? Let me delete them. I don't, they're not going to. Yeah, right. Exactly. They're not. Yeah. There's no point to, the, to being friends on Facebook. So here's one. I'm not sure what to do with this one. This little boy's got a black eye. This is where I'm at. So I'm open to suggestions. You guys see that? Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? Yeah, let me see what this. I'm Let's say, oh, I'm so sorry. See what the other comments are. He fell off his bike or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Kylie had just sent me a really, really funny person, funny, funny picture. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a, a, an old, old, old people and they're butt naked and they're like jumping in a pond. Mm -hmm. She's like, would you friend request these people? They live in Lincoln Village. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> Here's another one. I just came. I'm sure you guys run into this, but as, as if you're newer and you're not sure what to do, going through the A to Z, it also there's an account that's been deactivated. So, you know, it's another opportunity to create another spot for another friend down the road because Facebook only gives us five thousand that we're allowed to have. So, as you see those as well. One more minute and we'll take a we'll take a little break. Hi. Where A to Z commenting right now? For about, well, actually, we're just going to stop right now for about, we've been going for 20 minutes. We're going to stop for a couple minutes. I mean, go ahead and feel free to work. I'm just going to stop the recording and go refill my beverage. All right, I resumed the recording. So um, we are A to Z commenting. 
if anyone does not know how to do that, um, while you would have been on the, from the beginning, I'm assuming, um, we explained what A to Z commenting is in the very beginning and how you do it. So um, feel free to continue to do that. Kathy, go, Kathy Lalonde had something she wanted to share about A to Z commenting and what something she ran into. So please go ahead and share that. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. So I, um, I, I commented on someone who had passed away and um, I didn't know it. It wasn't someone that I was, I knew. And so what happened was um, someone sent me a private message. Again, it was someone I did not know. And they just said, Hey, Kathy, I don't know if you know or not, but so-and-so passed away. And I just immediately commented by saying, I'm so sorry, I did not know what happened. And then again, she talked to me like I knew the person and she just said, um, <clears throat> you know, she had cancer and she died, whatever, three months ago. And I said, thank you so much for telling me. And the person said, oh, you're welcome. And then I just went back in my phone and deleted that person as a, as a, a friend. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I commented on another one and my husband told me, he said, hey, Kath, Kath, that person passed away. And I just went back to the comment, deleted the comment, and then deleted that person from my Facebook account. So no big deal either way. Right. So it's going to happen. Right. And that, that's what I wanted to share because something very similar happened last week. Actually, it was a classmate of mine. I, I did not know he had passed away. Well, so I commented, you know, because I'm systematically going through and I commented and one of my other classmates, like literally we all three graduated together, said, hey, you know, so-and-so passed away in 2016. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I, I did not know. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for letting me know. I just didn't know. And then I did, you know, I did, and I didn't. It wasn't like I was being less than authentic. I just didn't know. And, yeah. you know, his profile picture was like 2010, but I've commented on older, right? 2009. So it's not that not that unusual to see old profile pictures, but um, so, I mean, that's good advice on how to kind of handle it because, you know, at the end of the day, we don't know, we don't know, but I also want, like you said, the unfriend thing is probably a good idea because if we go back through and do the same thing again, now that's not, now that's awkward. <laughs> you comment on, on your photos, you know, so that's not something I feel like you want to do. So thank you, Kathy, for bringing that up. So if you come across something, I guess we talked about it a little bit ago, but I'll, I'll show you in case you're newer. Um, if you come across somebody that, let me see if I can find one. Okay, this is a good, this is kind of a good example. All right, he has an Ohio State Buckeye logo as his profile picture and nothing as his cover photo. And this is just assume I've already commented there. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. So, so say I've already commented in the cover photo, there is one, there is none. So I'm going to scroll down and do this without jacking it all up. The word says photos. Can you see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Whoa. Well. 
<laughs> this is this is a mess. Hang on, there we go. Okay, so we see where it says photos right there. And then once you get in there, there's you know there's a few. He doesn't have a lot, but I would pick this one here more than this one here. There's a few people on there. So then you would just comment on that one. Great pick, great photo. Like that's it. That's our other. We try to stay off the news feed because you start scrolling, you might get. I mean, that's that there is a rabbit hole, in my opinion. Um, if you continue to like, if you get on somebody's news feed, you'll just keep. You could just keep scrolling and scrolling, and then you see something, you touch it, and you go in there. And so, so we encourage uh, honestly to either the profile pick when we're especially when we're A to Z comic profile pick. Um, cover photo, and once you touch those already, then go into their photos and, and kind of gravitate toward photos that have more than one person tagged in them, if at all possible. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up. I'm not gonna take a break. If you guys need to take a break, feel free to go ahead. But I'm not gonna plus press pause or anything. So the next thing I would like to do something we did today, but I like it. So we're gonna to continue to. I will. So if you were not if you were on Power Hour today, you may have already done it, or you may have heard it. But I want to do it because I like it. So what we're gonna do is we're basically we're gonna invite our clients to post um, the spooky, let me find the wording, the spooky face-to-face -face challenge, right? So, what they had us do today was send it to each of our clients. So, hey, this something along these lines. So I'm, I'm just going to read what I what I put in my notes. Hey, we were doing a really fun contest called Face to Face Challenge, Spooky Edition. Here's mine. I can't wait to see yours. So basically, we're going to send them a picture of ours that we've already done, and 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 kind of put this text along with it. Um. So I, I'll re, I'll start over. Okay, but that that's where. That's what the idea was, was to send our picture that we've already created for the face-to-face -face challenge. And then coupled with this, hey, so-and-so, we, we are doing a really fun contest called face-to-face -face challenge, spooky edition. Here's mine, I can't wait to see yours. Would you be able to post a spooky picture from before and a quick snapshot side-by-side -side for me? Here are the words you need to say. That didn't make sense. To, oh, here are the words you need to say to get put in the drawing for 50 bucks on your Optivia account that will be held at the end of the month. So something along those lines. Spot Optivia wrong. <laughs> All right, so apparently my missus is waiting on me. If anyone else would like that, I can, maybe you guys already have it, but I can, I have it saved. If anybody wants it, I'll send it to you. And then you can just send it to your clients. Just copy and paste it.
I think Kathy Evans does. What? Oh, okay. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> right. Okay, so copy. Bear with me here. Sometimes I'm technologically challenged. You know, we can tag them. I mean, there's a couple ways you can go about making sure they have the um, the information, like what they need to put. You can just tag them on the post in Live Right. Let's see. But then send them this along with your picture you've already created to give them the idea, an idea of what. Okay, Kathy, I think I just sent it to you correctly. So let's work on like let's work on sending that to our clients and that like the next 10 15 minutes or so. And if you've already done that or something along those lines, just continue to A to Z comment. Rob. Yeah. Um, do you have the um, do you have the words um, written down that you could share that includes uh, thank you my thanks to my coaches? The ones I'm looking at, they're all coaches that post and it doesn't include that. So no, so the, I haven't looked, but in Live Right are for clients. So if you you're we're gonna send this to our clients, we want to put the Live Right version. Right, that's what I mean. So I found it earlier, and so. Okay. What I I mean, just just type face to face and see what comes up because that's that's how I found it earlier. Oh, okay. Um, so, did you have to copy the whole the whole thing? You can't just copy those few words. I just. So right there it is at the top. Okay. So. I, I, I'll just type it. You know, I mean, if, if you want to get those, copy those out, you, you co end up copying the whole thing. So. Right, but then you can edit it if you want. You can copy the whole thing, right? Yeah. And then you can edit it. Save yeah. the notes, and then you can save it to your own notes. And then you can edit it, if I'm not mistaken. Is that is that something we can do, people? Do you guys know anyone know? Yeah. For sure? I just wonder if anybody had done that yet, but I'll do it. <laughs> I don't think anyone. I haven't done it. Okay, I'll do it, and then I can share it if anybody wants it. Thanks. It's actually in um, Live Right under announcements. And it doesn't have the actual wording. It just says, please make sure that your coach is tagged in the post. If that helps. OK, thanks. I can send you what I sent to my coaches, if that's helpful. OK. Oh, yeah, I'm on mute. Thank you. You're welcome. Post the two pictures side by side on your personal Facebook timeline, tagging your coach saying, saying, this October I decided posts must be public. So it's it's kind of wordy, and I can see how it might may be confusing, but we can help them, like, navigate that. If they're willing to do it, we can help them figure it out pretty quickly. So for those that may be listening that um, are watching the, the um, recording, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't have a lot of clients that you, you know, or maybe you have a few clients or a couple clients and you've already done this, um, then go back to, I'll tell you what, go, go to, um, go into a group, to the Live Right group and start commenting and being supportive and and the point to that is this as we get clients and as our my hat's all crooked it's all about the look right now as we get clients and we begin to we want them to see us active in the live right page almost to the point that they think that it's ours and, and the, the reason for that is we, we want our clients to know that we're active that we're leaders that 
you know, that coach, you know, we kind of coach in the community page that so we don't coach other people's clients. We, we are active and we play a, a role in there where they see our names all over the place, you know, offering encouragement, um, sharing recipes, making sure they're plan approved, obviously. Um, I've done that a couple of times and uh, I, did, I missed like one little line I didn't catch and I had to delete it. So that just be my, like, honestly, so I've done that myself, but, but they want, you want them to see us in there, um, commenting and kind of taking ownership of the group, almost like it is our personal group so that they, they just see our presence in there. So, and even as we, as we grow teams, you know, our coaches, coaches, their clients see us in there. So it's, it's, a, it's a matter of being visible for our teams to see us um, so that they know, you know, that that's our, our group, our group, all of us. Uh, and so I'm just saying that now. So for those of you that have already sent these things to your, to your um, clients about this, the spooky face-to-face, uh, -face, go ahead and start working in the live right group. Cause we're going to do that at the end anyway, but go ahead and start that now. If you've already sent this to all your clients and if you're, if you have some questions about it and you're not quite sure how to, how, you know, how to do this, get with your business coach um, to ask them to, for some clarification, because I know, I know it can be a little bit confusing. Sometimes it's not overwhelming. And it, once you do it once or twice, you'll see it's, it's pretty simple, but in the beginning, as we first start trying to navigate this stuff, it can be a little bit confusing. So please don't hesitate to reach out to your business coach because we, we love helping. We love, um, and we know that it's like, it's impactful. We know that our clients, as they begin to publicly post about their journey, one of two things is going to happen. Usually either they're going to become a coach and we all know that that's in the best interest for our long-term health. Like health coaches are five times more likely to get to their goals. So we know that that's a good thing. You know, I, I can't imagine, I'm just so thankful that I've been a coach for two and a half years. I've been able to keep my weight off now because of that. So we, we want them but the other thing is, even if they don't become a coach, that public, basically putting it out there publicly, people are watching them. It, it, it creates um, some accountability in their, their community, whatever that is, whether that be in their home, in their workplace, you know, or literally out in you know, grocery store, the parks, wherever they run into people. It creates an accountability for them. And so we know that it's in their best interest to share it. Some, some people don't want to. That's fine. All we're doing is asking and we, we share with them why, why we, why we know that this works, why it's in their best interest. But at the end of the day, if they don't want to do it, that's fine. We're just, we're just offering you more, more encouragement, more opportunity for success from what we've seen. It just clients that do this are more likely to get to their goal. They have a hedge of protection around them, you know, and, and we, we know the reasons why, but we also want to make sure that they understand why. So as a newer coach, Please feel that, you know, that's another thing we talk about on a celebration call. So make sure we're bringing the celebration calls to our, to our FIBC because we know that um, we're going to share a lot of this stuff with our with the clients. So as a newer coach, make sure you're doing that because they're going to help you share this with your clients. So, you, you know, and they'll, they'll explain it to the client why, why we do this. So um, what time is it? 42... Let's take, I'm going to pause this thing for about three minutes, take another three minute break, and then we'll go, we'll go to the end. Okay. I'm going to pause it now. Okay. We are back. I'm recording again. Um, I did want to say, so Renee put those in the notes or in the chat. So thank you, Renee. So, so a lot of the text, so maybe take a screenshot if you want. I mean, if nothing else, you have it and that's a, and then you can go and create it in your notes or you can um, like talk into your notes and, and it'll create it for you or however, we, however you want to do it. But if you take a screenshot of it, then you have it because once, I don't know if it'll show up later. I'm, it might, but I'm not sure. So um, anyway, so the next thing that we will do Let's go ahead and go into live right, which is our, and we will, if you haven't already been doing this, we're going to go in and just offer some encouragement. Um, 
and just be a presence in our in our client support page. So just go ahead and go in there. I'm assuming everybody knows how to find it. In live, in live right. Yeah, in live right. We're going to go into live right. Um, and just start being. supportive and uplifting and stuff. Again, I mean, the reason for this is just, we want our clients and our, you know, the coaches that we've partnered with to see that we, you know, see that we're leaders in the group. I mean, at the end of the day, that's it, almost, you want it to feel like it's our group, you know, it's my group or your group, or like it's all collectively our group. And when they see us in there doing, you know, being positive and uplifting, um, that's a good thing. And the other thing, what about the comment in Live Right, as, as, as coaches, if we see our clients comment a lot in there, you know, being positive and uplifting, that's a really good indicator of that's a potential coach. Um, if they're not afraid to post in there, if they're not afraid to share some of their victories, even some of the little, you know, little struggles that they run up against, if they're willing to share it in that community, um, there's a good chance that they're going to be a really good coach. So just be mindful of that as, as, as we, as health coaches, we need to be mindful of that and kind of pay attention if our clients are posting, but if we also see, if we have some newer coaches that we work that we've partnered with and, and their clients are posted, maybe help them as a business coach, help that other, the younger coach see that that client is a potential coach as well. Uh, sometimes I think we don't even think of clients in terms of coaches when we're newer. So just be, just be aware. And when we start seeing our coaches, clients doing a lot of commenting and being supportive, then we know that that's a really good potential coach. And it's somebody we want to keep an eye on make sure they're getting on celebration calls and things like that, because we know that they're, you know, they're, they're a positive individual. They probably have a huge circle of influence already and, you know, people want to be around them. So um, just, just as business coaches, let's be aware of that. This is funny. This girl on here, I'm, I'll share this. Whenever I take pictures, Nikki says, women always look at the background. I'm never, ever, 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 like I could care less. Sometimes I'll take a picture, like when I was on plan, I would take a picture in the, and there'd be a towel hanging on the back, on the tub or something. Nikki's like, oh my gosh, why did you post that? And, um, cause I could care less. And I didn't even notice it because I don't, we're guys, we're like, eh, we don't care. But so this girl on here on live right, I just share, I'm not gonna, but she said, I, I really don't like this picture. Sorry for the vanity being an utter mess. So she's already aware everybody's going to judge her. That's, that's hilarious. I just, that just made me think of Nikki always getting on me about what my background looks like. So anyway, there's that.
All right, let's switch it up. I'm going to go. Uh, so for the last, I don't know, I guess it's nine minutes now. Um, I, I know, but we got a bunch of us doing that in there, live right all at the same time. So that I guess we don't all need to do it all. Um, so for the last like nine minutes, let's work on, let's work in groups. Pick a group that you um, have been working in. And what I, you know, one maybe one of the things you you want to be known for, or and just go in and, and add value, um, ask questions, offer, you know, maybe post a picture if you know if it applies, make a post that is engaging. Um, I know I never forget I I posted something in grandparent. I'm I'm a part of a grandparents group. And uh, and I posted a, a I posted a picture of my tattoo in a grandparents group. I know that sounds stupid, but there was two hundred and some comments on there, and and I and I worked that thing for weeks, that because you know I, just, I it was something to the effect of how many other grandparents out there have tattoos or something like that. Like it's really been like it made you would think it would. Get, there would be no interaction and it was weeks and weeks that I, I got so you never know what's going to create some kind of uh, interaction it's kind of fun actually so um just go on to one of the groups and let's just work work some of our groups that we've been working in you know like we also part of a lab labrador retriever group um some work like for me i've been you know doing some running since i got to my healthy weight so i'm in some of those groups so did different things, but um, it's fun just to go in and work the groups, but add value. So, because we're not, what we don't want to do is go in there. It, it's going to take a while to create relationship through those groups with people you don't even know. So we're just going to continue to add value and you may get some friend requests, but we're not going to go in there and just friend, 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 because A, it's kind of creepy. There's no relationship there. And B, Facebook could shut you down too. Like if you don't have any friends in common and you're going through friend requests and 25 people under 10 minutes, Facebook might shut you down. So there's reasons you want to do that. Um, create value in there. Yeah, I'm in some gardening clubs and I had actually asked for advice in the spring about my flower beds. And everybody loves to give advice about plants, especially, right. especially when they need help. I'll, I, yeah, they went on for days, days. And, we, and weeks. <laughs> that's a good example. I mean, that's actually a perfect example. Yeah, we did. I posted something like that in uh, the lab group. And when, when Nikki, when, one of our, when Zoe, our dog, was sitting on her lap, I, I threw that in there. Does anyone else's lap think they're a lap dog? Oh my gosh. Show, show me. There's something like that I put in it. Like it was, it was, I don't even know. There was, there was hundreds of comments with, you know, everybody likes to share their pictures of their dog, right? It's fun though. Like it's fun. Like you're really creating relationships. You're bringing value. People are having fun with it. Like it's not just, it's, it's like, in my opinion, it's one of the perks of what we get to do. It's just, it's fun.
Okay, I think that's about, it. well, I guess we've got about a minute yet. So I would encourage you if you haven't already done it to, to send some of those to your clients, um, those about the face-to-face -face and just let them know about it. Uh, many, many will probably post. It's fun. Um, and they get to brag on themselves a little bit. And also for them, you know, it, it does create the circle of the hedge of protection around them in their plan. So um, thanks everyone for getting on. Uh, we'll see you Friday. No, well, we're going to, we're going to be traveling Friday. So we may or may not be on, but it, we will, the power hour will still happen. Uh, Scott and Kathy are going to host Friday and then Renee is going to host Monday. Um, so but you know, we might be on. If we just don't know what's going on as far as planning goes. We may be on. We'll just be over on that side of the screen doing working. Um, so just um, so we'll see everybody Friday. And thanks for getting on. Have a great night.